Hey Cancer, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Cancer. So if you are Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Cancer, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't apply, don't try to cross the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from me. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid, roles can get reversed, so take how it resonates. Seven of Cups. Someone is very confused here. They're trying to come up with a plan here for some of you. This person is, uh, they are thinking or they feel like they want to communicate. There's a desire from this person's side. If there's silence between the both of you, this person wants to break the silence. Or if there's a sort of a pause between the both of you here. Or this person has not been opening up. They have not been communicating very well. There's very little communication between the both of you. This person actually wants to clear the air between the both of you. And they actually want to just tell you something. They are planning. But because we do have the seven of cups. They feel utterly confused here. For some of you this person could have been someone who did have options. Or they still have their options. We have just only one card. So we are going to see that. Strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. Bottom of the deck is stars, Aquarius. Mm. And that's your energy. For some of you, this person is actually trying to find the strength and courage to. If this person was someone who was very confused and they confused you or they had options because of which this person was very confused here, yeah, this person is trying to come out of that confusion and listen to their heart, listen to their feelings, trust their intuition, trust what the universe is trying to tell them and listen to the guidance of the universe. It's almost like someone who is they are trying to listen to their intuition and what they truly want. They are also, it's just not their intuition. This person is trying to listen to their feelings. What do I truly want? What do I truly feel? That's what this person is trying to listen to and understand. It's like someone who's trying to be, trying to quiet their mind so that they can hear what their heart wants. You might hear kids playing in the background. Could be dealing with another Cancer or an Aquarius. This person is trusting the universe. They are trusting God's plan. That's the kind of thing with this person. Or at least they are trying to. This person is also trying to find the patience and courage to... You know, cut through their own illusions, whatever illusions, confusion this person has in their mind. They're trying to cut through that. It's very possible you are dealing with someone who has always been somewhat confused in their life. They always had options and they were always someone who didn't know what to choose, where to go, what direction to choose. So this person could be trying to choose what is the right direction for them. What is, what is it that truly makes them happy? That's what this person is trying to understand. We have the Knight of Wands reverse and the Knight of Pentacles upright in this person's energy here. So someone is maturing here. 
Someone's maturing. For some of you, you could be dealing with a player here because we do have the Seven of Cups, we have the Knight of Wands here. So you could have been dealing with a player or someone who was very non committal kind of a person. But it's like someone who's trying to understand they want something more than just fun or they're trying to understand what is going to truly make them happy in the long run. Because whatever this person is doing or whatever they're up to, they might not be feeling the kind of happiness they thought they would or the happiness is not long lasting. That's what I'm getting. Like the happiness is not really long lasting here. The happiness isn't lasting for this person. It's very temporary kind of happiness. And this person is sort of tired of that. For some of you, it's very possible this person is like, they feel a strong connection with you. They feel a strong desire to have a relationship with you. But it's very possible you could be confusing this person as well. Some way or other, you are confusing this person. Fell, both these cards fell in a neutral position. Yeah, you could be confusing this person because somehow this person feels like you are not, uh, you, you are walking away from them. You have already made your decision, you have already made your choice and you are walking away from them. Or at least this person sees that, this person sees you as someone, you know, like, you're not going to fall for, because the Knight of Cups is, is very well the kind of energy who, you know, like, they have a lot of uh, hopeless romantic kind of things, so they will have a lot to say, but they don't really follow through with actions. The Knight of Cups is a very romantic kind of a person. They will say those sweet nothings. Whatever you want to hear, the Knight of Cups will say that. But it's not necessary. The Knight of Cups will, will follow through with actions, whatever they said. It's like hollow promises, false promises. That's what the Knight of Cups does. So it's that energy of this person could be feeling very, very confused right now because they feel like you are not falling for their sweet nothings anymore. You're not falling for their promises anymore. You're not looking for, you know, just a romantic something. You're looking for some sort of stability here. You also have the four of pentacles uh, in reverse, the bottom of the deck. So for some, some of you, this person might be feeling like they see you as someone who's not holding on to them. You're not holding on to them anymore. You're not stuck on them anymore. In fact, you are, you are, for some of you, this person might feel like they could be confused because they feel like you are not really completely emotionally invested. You are sort of emotionally detached from this person, which is making this person feel very, very confused here. And that's the reason why this person could be trying to understand what is going to truly make them happy. working really hard when it comes to your finances money you could be working on yourself your standards as well here so some of you this person is realizing you are someone who has standards you know your value you know your worth you have standards that's the reason why you're not going to fall, fall for false promises you're not going to be putting up with someone who's just you know like being very, very romantic with you saying a lot of romantic stuff but there's no stability you're not going to fall for that like you, you are the knight of wands in reverse. You're not the kind of person who will put up with someone um, who is just in and out, hot and cold, has other options, is very r reckless kind of a person, uh, someone who will romanticize things a lot, but they don't follow through with actions. You're not going to fall for that. That's how this person sees you. That's the reason why this person could be feeling very, very confused here. Because initially, this person really didn't understand this about you. 
or they didn't see you in this light right now the way this person is seeing you it's very different you're looking for someone with a ten of wands who can put in effort who is for the long haul seven of wands boundaries standing your ground for some of you could be really standing your ground right now and not budging here like you're not giving this person that space to do whatever they want however they behave you're not giving this person that space which which is the reason this person is utterly confused here and that's the reason why this person is trying to understand what is going to truly make them happy because it's, it's like a in a way they see you and they, then they feel that well, Cancer is someone who seems very serious. I wonder what I'm doing with my own life. What am I doing with my life? Because Cancer seems like someone who's sorted. Cancer seems like someone who knows what they want. But what do I want? That's the kind of thing with this person. Here. You are making this person wonder. But what they are doing, is it the right thing for them? Is it going to make them really, 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 really happy in the long run? Or what is going to make them truly happy? Mm, three of Swords. So it's very possible Three of Swords, Seven of Cups could happen a third party situation here. Yeah, and bottom of the deck is Three of Cups again. Six of Wands. So yeah, three of swords, three of cups, six of wands here. For some of you, you're dealing with someone who likes a lot of attention or who gets a lot of attention. Again, this person could be someone who is sort of that prince or princess charming. They do get a lot of attention here. They do have options. But it's like those options aren't making this person happy or simply like you know, they're tired. I'm getting that energy of they're tired of um, being put in a third party situation or dealing with third party situations. They're tired of that. See, this is what I'm getting here. If this person is not serious about someone, the other person is not going to be serious about this person as well. If this person is treating someone as just an option, they might be getting treated as an option as well because people can understand when someone is not serious. And if someone is not serious with you, why would you be serious with them? So it's very possible that it's a cycle this has gone, this, that has been going on with this person here. They have been repeating cycles of um, being put in a third party situation. So this person putting someone in a third party situation. It's like a vicious cycle this person has been stuck in. And now this person feels really, really just, they don't, it just doesn't make them feel good anymore. Third party situations, being entangled in uh, complicated uh, connections, complicated situationships, just going for attention, just going for attractiveness. It's like someone who wants, they're not happy with dealing with someone who's just attractive physically. It's very possible you're dealing with someone who's attractive themselves and that's the reason why this person looks for the same kind of qualities with an other person. They just go for attractiveness. They just go for looks. They just go for shallow things. But it's not making this person happy anymore. It's like they feel very dissatisfied with what they are choosing, who they are choosing, the kind of options they are choosing, the kind of life they are choosing. And for some reason, we do have the Empress here, right? So somehow you have change this person's opinion about the kind of person they should be with you have changed that opinion for this person here now they want a different kind of a person not to mention once you see once you date or talk or in a connection with an empress none of those other options no matter how attractive they are it will not it will not make you happy. It won't. Because this is the entire package. And at the same time, because we do have the chariot here, this person knows that 
you are not going to fall for the same sort of tactics or you are not someone who's going to fall for their false promises, sweet nothings, or you're not going to fall for someone who's always stuck in third party situation, always part partying or uh, is drinking too much or is doing things to get attention from the opposite sex. You're not going to do that. You're not going to fall for that kind of a person. This person is aware of it or that is what you they are getting aware of. That's the reason why they are. It's, it's like it's not things are not making this person happy. And now this person has, look at that, if I keep the cards this way, strength and the three of cups. This person is, they are being forced to overcome this energy they have. Who are always being casual or always being involved with people who are into casual relationships, casual connections. They want something more serious. it's almost this energy of with the star like uh, again you could be dealing with an Aquarius but it's this energy of you are not you're not sitting there and worrying about this person or worrying about this connection you're letting universe decide what's going to happen with this person what's going to happen with this connection here you're trusting your intuition you're trusting the universe And it, it's very possible it might not be just regarding this person as well. Like when it comes to romantic connections, you are choosing to trust the universe. You are choosing to trust, relax, let God, let universe handle it. For some of you, because we do have the ace of wands, you do want a new beginning with this person. But at the same time, you feel like this person is a burden somehow. This person is a burden or the connection between the both of you is a burden and simply because if someone is not a match uh, for you energetically they are not a match with you they are still being immature whereas you are being serious and mature then of course this connection will seem burdensome right so for some of you you do want a new beginning with this person but honestly you feel very stressed about this person as well or however this person whatever they do however they behave you feel very, very stressed you feel very overwhelmed you feel like this person is a burden like you have to literally carry the weight of this person or not weight of this person, weight of this connection. Person. you feel really disappointed uh, uh, with this person by this person here somehow because you feel like uh, you know this person isn't telling you the truth they are not giving you the clarity one way or other they are not telling you the truth or giving you the clarity that's what that's how you or what you feel about this person they are not telling you the truth for some of you uh, you feel like this person is someone who likes a lot of attention you know, they just want you to keep giving them attention. They just want you to keep feeding to the, the, their energy, keep feeding attention to them. And see, the Empress is not the kind of person who will just sit and feed attention to someone. That's not the energy of the Empress. Empress knows her value. So, of course, you don't want to feed attention to this person. 
Not to mention the Empress's options as well. Six of Wands, Empress. Whatever you're doing, whatever you do, your job, your whatever, your business, whatever you do, it's random here. It dra does draw in a lot of attention for some of you. Or it's simply like you feel like this person is always about seeking attention. They don't tell you the truth. Whatever communication is coming from this person's side, it's not the truth. And this person is not communicating you to the truth. Somehow you feel like this person lies about things. They're not exactly honest or they're not exactly someone you can fully trust. And you have been disappointed by this person. With the five of cups here. But you're not going to force this person to communicate to you. You're not going to force this person to talk to you to tell you the truth here. Where did this come from? Temperance and the Fool. Yeah, see, that's the thing with the Temperance again. We'll be dealing with the Sagittarius, Aries, Aquarius. But yeah, Temperance in reverse. You feel like this person has some overindulging habits. There is a lot of imbalance with this person. Or there's a lot of imbalance in this connection. You might want a new beginning with this person. You might feel a little, uh, a strong connection with this person. But you feel like there's a lot of imbalance here. Either this person overindulges in stuff. They overindulge in their habits. They have some overindulging habits that's not really healthy. And that's the reason why there's a lot of imbalance in this connection. That's the reason why you can't completely trust this person. And you feel like because there's a lot of imbalance in this connection, taking a risk, if you have taken a risk in the past with this person, it, you know, it was sort of a foolish risk or you don't want to take any foolish risks here. Being well aware of what is wrong with this person or what this person is doing wrong, you don't want to take a foolish risk here. If, you're, if you already know that this person is imbalanced, they are lying, they're not completely telling you the truth, there's overindulging habits, why would you want to take a why would you want to take a risk with them? I mean, we did see the ace of wands, so of course you are attracted to them. We have the queen of wands as well. You're attracted to them, you want a new beginning, you feel a lot of passionate energy for this person. But for a lot of you, you might have realized with this person that. You know, a lot of times just attraction is not enough. It's very possible. How to put it in a nice way? It's very possible. It was a lot of fun with this person. The sex was really good. There's a lot of attraction, a lot of flirting energy between the both of you. But yeah, that, that's not it, right? You... I'm getting a phrase, but I'm not going to say it because it's very, it's very rude, so I'm not going to say it, but um, yeah, it's that energy of, yes, I feel a lot of attraction towards this person. Yes, I feel a strong connection. I'm very attracted. It's really good. We really have a good time. There's a lot of fun with this person here but I also am aware that this person has a lot of overindulging habits or this person is someone who is not really balanced at all they have their issues which is not serving me which is not good which is not healthy so I feel like I don't want to take a risk with this person right now I hope I made sense there okay, let's keep it here Queen of Swords, Page of Swords. So remember how I said like you have been disappointed by the kind of communication this person has been, the communication that is between the both of you. There's very possible there's some sort of miscommunication happened or some sort of communication gap is there. This person is not telling you the truth. Somehow you feel like this person is hiding stuff from you. 
They have choices or options when it comes to love. They are overindulging, partying a lot, whatever. But you have been disappointed in this connection. And that is what I said, like you are expecting some sort of honesty or truth from this person that you feel like this person is not giving you. But look at that, we have the Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords. This is truth and honesty. This is honest communication. And Page of Swords is also a communication. Also, yes, it's this maturing of energy here. From the Page of Swords to the Queen of Swords, it's a maturing of energy. This person is definitely keeping an eye on you. Even if this communication is very little to... No communication almost between the both of you. This person stalks you. They do have information of on you. They do collect information of you. Whatever. This person does, you know, stalks and spies on you. But that's the thing here. There's some maturing of energy that has happened with this person here. This person wants to actually have a mature conversation. It's very possible this person is well aware that you don't see them as someone who's mature. Or the reason you are have emotionally detached from this person or this connection is because you don't see them as someone who's emotionally mature. And now this person wants to honestly communicate because Queen of Swords is a very honest communication. Ace of Swords, again, uh, Aces talks about new beginning, also communication here. And with the Hermit, this is someone who has realized some things. And they might have simply realized that, you know, you are someone who truly makes them happy. They, they want to have something with you. And if they want to have something with you, they cannot be overindulging. They cannot have the same kind of lifestyle and expect to have a relationship with you. If they want something serious, they have to be serious with you. They have to have a serious con conversation with you, seriously communicate with you, tell you the truth. happened with this person here some changes definitely happened two major arcanas well death in tarot doesn't talk about death it's like rebirth death and rebirth so that's what has happened with, uh, like that is what is happening with this person this person is ready for changing the dynamic changing things within themselves they truly want to change themselves they truly want to transform things and there's a change that is happening within this person already because remember, if something is not making you happy anymore, if you are re not resonating with something, if you're not resonating with the kind of lifestyle, the kind of past you have, that means you have changed, you have shifted. There's an energy shift that has happened. Ace of Swords again at the bottom of the deck. seven of wands equal give and take this is what this person wants equal give and take what's the bottom of the deck yeah see ace of swords again at the bottom of the deck this person knows you have strong boundaries you know, this is someone who's respecting the fact that you have such strong boundaries they're respecting the fact that you are not just falling for you're not like the other people they have met, other options they have met, who just, who don't have boundaries, who don't have standards, who don't, who do not know to stand their ground. So yeah. It's like this person knows it's going to be tough to get to you get through to you or make you believe that they have changed or they want a change but the only hope they have is telling you the truth and look at that six of cups so for some of you it's very possible if this person had some sort of childhood woundings or traumas because of which they behave the way they behave this person might open up about that as well if they have that not everyone will have the same thing but this person is willing to open up about that as well. Or they, they are ready to, if not open up, they're at least ready to address it within themselves. And that's the first step.
Yeah. Ten of Wands, Judgment. We'll be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, I think I've mentioned the other signs. Too. which is a good energy this is going to be yeah ace of wands ten of pentacles ten of pentacles actually talks about commitment page of wands in reverse this was an upright uh, in the deck but when i tried like it came out in the reverse page of wands in reverse is someone who's growing up someone who's evolving someone who's changing someone who's ready to be more mature someone who's leveling someone who's leveling up someone who's learning to please don't fall Someone who's learning to take responsibilities. It's almost like it's a new thing for this person. It's a new... For some of you, it could be dealing with someone who's younger than you or simply there's a maturity difference between the both of you here. And yeah, Ten of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. This was at the bottom of the deck. They want to have a new beginning. They want to have stability and commitment. And they feel excited about it. It's not like this person is like just, okay, fine, let's settle down. No, they're excited about having stability. They're excited about having commitment. They're excited about being in a one-on-one -on -one relationship. No options, no wandering eyes, nothing. They're excited about it. All right. Yeah, like that. Yeah, see, bottom of the deck is commitment, marriage, Promises, fidelity, and clarity. Truth, intentions, honesty, honest communication. So yeah, this person has the clarity. Come on. They have the clarity here. About what they want. Divine masculine. Apology. I have pre-shuffled this deck. Distracted came out in reverse. No more distractions. There has been a lot of delays and this person is changing. For sure. You look at that. Bottom of the deck is soulmates. Unity. Let's get. What is this? Beginnings. Yeah. New direction. Starting over. Trying again. These are good cards. Well, that's your reading, Cancer. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in the next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.